Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brashene, and first of all, I gotta get ready to go because we're going to get laser hair removal. So this is not my first. First of all, y'all, it's early. It's 9:15. Well, my appointment is at 9:15. It's currently 8:14. It's like a 40-minute ride to where I'm going. So I want to basically get like a head start, so I'm not late. Um, this is my third appointment. Um, I've been trying to bring y'all along with me for the first two, but it just did not work out. Forgive me, but I will definitely go into further like explaining about the process, about like my experience with it so far. You know, all the details, pain level, things like that. If I see a difference, I'm gonna go into detail about that for you after my appointment today. But I just wanted to like let you guys know that we're going on vlogging my laser hair removal experience today and that yes i'm excited i hope you guys are excited let's go oh and i just have on something really simple like these leggings um and this shirt i mean when i go get lasered i don't really wear anything too crazy just because i try to wear something at least like loose or something you know just because i'm getting lasered i don't want if the area is like irritated i don't want to irritate even more by having something tight on so i have wore tight pants i think my first one I wore tight pants. It didn't irritate me like that, but they were just tight. And you know, just in case I'm irritated, I just try if I can to wear something a little looser so that I have kind of a little bit more wiggle room, you know? But yep, this is all I'm wearing there. So let's go. So guys, this is what I have on right now. I ripped this out. But this is what you wear basically when you're getting Brazilian or anything down here, but um, like, you know, on the bottom area done. Um, and so you just open it when they have to do it. And then that's it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what my gear is before we start. Yeah, my hair so, used to grow and just go in a circle and spin back into my skin. That's what it used yes. to do. Yep, yeah. and it hasn't done that, so I'm happy. Yes. Is it, does it vary between people when it comes to like seeing um, progress with like discoloration and things like that? Is they're, it different for everybody? They're changed. Mm -hmm. It's, sometimes it's not, especially in the armpit. Mm, the okay. It's really dark. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it less a little bit. Right. This is not really, you know, to, to be the brightening the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, it changed a little bit like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said, you know, they have vitamin C oil. Right. Mm -hmm. Just do that at night. Mm -hmm. and, you know, in the morning. And it will help. It. Yeah. It will help. Yes. And is this the yag? Does this have yag or this laser? This yag. That's a yag. For, you know, mm -hmm. for your skin. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, you can bend your knee. Okay. Bend I like this. Okay. So is this going to be um, a higher voltage or is it going to be it's the, same. the same? Okay. But I'm going to do. Okay. Not high voltage. Okay. <laughs> Not really high. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> Ready? Yes, ma'am. You know, I've just seen so many people talk about laser. You think it hurts more than what it really does. No, it's not that bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. That's true. And it's so quick. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. So is the burning smell from the follicle being burned? The hair too. The hair. Mm -hmm. um, the, there's 
some hair that you know we burn. Uh huh. But there's a hair that we burn. Okay. Yay! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey guys, so I'm back to give you guys a little bit of insight on my experience with laser hair removal. And just to give you a little bit of like inside scoop on like the process and things like that. Just in case you're curious about it. So for one, um, let me go into my reason. My reason for getting laser hair removal was because I try all different types of, um, of hair removal. I mean, shaving, waxing, using um, V and Air, which is the hair removal creams. Everything literally always got me, had me irritated. Like everything caused ingrown hairs, everything. Other than like, I mean, well, Nair and Beat did too. And that's just because it was more so just the way my hair was growing back once it like started to grow back in. That's what caused um, me to always get ingrowns, which was my biggest irritation. Like I do not like that. It's so annoying to me. I cannot stand it. I used to be just, just be like, does everybody go through this? Like, is this something everybody goes through? Or is it just like, just depends on your hair type, the way your hair grows, things like that. And I believe that is what it is. You know, everybody's hair grows differently on their body. And so the way mine's grows, is like literally like coily. It coils, it goes, grows out and curls back to go into my skin. And so once I figured that out, it basically was, it, nothing's gonna help me really, you know, because I exfoliated, I did everything I needed to do, and I still was getting ingrown. So I was like, you know what? I need to go to the next, next best thing, which to me was laser hair removal. And so I looked into, I looked into laser hair removal a while ago, but actually a girl that I used to work with said that she was getting um, lazy hair removal from a place in Virginia. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, we work in DC. Virginia, I live in Maryland, but you know, Virginia is not far. So um, she's the one who told me about the place she was going to and things like that. So which made me look into it. And so that's what got me on the path to getting laser hair removal. First, let me talk about the pain level. The pain level for me for laser hair removal is not bad. Okay, I will give it like a four out of 10. Maybe a five out of 10 if you know, it stings a little here and there. But to me, it's so quick. They zap you and then it's like, as soon as they go to zap you, it's done. So, you know, it's it's not like a long lasting pain. It's, it's immediate, it's quick and it's done. So even after it's done, like I don't have any irritation. Sometimes I basically plan to possibly have irritation because they say that you can possibly experience irritation. Um, I never have any like immediately after I'm done, you know? But yes, the pain, I will say that it is true when they say it feels like a rubber band is snapping you. That is a true description of how it feels. Now it could be like a, a hard snap or a soft snap, you know, but that's how it feels. And so everybody's pain tolerance is different. And actually in the vlog, I show that the woman is basically saying that it depends on pain tolerance for people. So some people have a high pain tolerance and some people have a low pain tolerance. And I think that that kind of makes a difference in how you're gonna take the pain for this. But also I do feel as though it depends on the area you're getting done as well. Because some areas on your body are more sensitive than others. And so if you have a more sensitive area, then the sting is gonna burn a little bit more, you know? It's gonna hurt a little more than like an area that you, you might not feel it in some areas. Some people say they don't feel it at all. Other people say like, it's hurting, what's happening? The laser type that she used, it is a YAG laser. And a YAG laser, from what I know, I would want to say, definitely do your own research when it comes to finding out what's the best laser to use based on your skin tone, based on your hair, and things like that. But for I know people who have like brown skin and melanin in their skin, they say that you need to use the YAG laser. That is the best laser to use for like our skin tones. And so that is the laser that they use at the facility I attend. So my goals with getting laser hair removal is one, to eliminate and prevent all ingrown hairs. Get, go away. I don't want you no more. I'm <laughs> done with them. So that is, that's my main goal. If I can eliminate all ingrown hairs and not get any, okay. Um, and also to decrease the rate of my hair growth. So, you know, I think everybody, most females hair grows back quick. Like once you shave it, it's coming back in. That's why people wax so much because waxing takes longer for your hair to grow back. When you shave, your hair is growing back before the day is over. 
the hair, you see the hair is poking back out, you know? So, and also to correct my dark marks. My dark marks are my biggest, the biggest thing I want to do because when I get in grooms, the thing is that they leave scarring. Even if I don't pick them, even if I don't even mess with them at all, they leave scars, which is so annoying because, you know, they do fade over time sometimes, but it takes a while. So, which brings me to my next point. I have been using PFB plus Chroma Bright. So it's basically like a roll-on ointment, or not ointment, but like, I don't know what it is. But um, it rolls on to your skin, and basically the it helps with brightening your skin, with fade and dark marks, and also, and also hyperpigmentation in the area. Um, and also it basically like peels your skin, like removing the dead skin to reveal the brighter skin underneath. So it actually works. Like, I mean, people have different experiences with it and you can definitely YouTube it because I've been seeing a lot more reviews on it lately. Um, when I first started using it, I barely saw any reviews. But um, that actually really helps. You have to be consistent, of course, because I haven't been consistent and therefore, you know, my results probably could be better. But I'm gonna start using it again. Definitely look it up. I believe I brought it off of Amazon some years ago. And that's like the main place it's sold, but you can look for it other places. Just Google it and you'll find like where it's sold. My area overall is not dark. It's just simply the dark marks. Like it's little tiny scar marks um, or like just dots basically from when I might've had an ingrown. And they sometimes fade and other ones a little bit more stubborn. So it just depends, but I don't need them gone. You know, I was told that they recommend I get eight to 10 sessions. Could be more, could be less. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be at least eight to 10 um, to get the best result. So I already anticipate that even after my eight to 10 sessions that I'll possibly have to go back in the future here and there to get a treatment here and there just because I have heard that laser hair removal is not permanent. So basically it does reduce your hair, like the growth of your hair rate, the rate of your hair growth. But at the same time, it's not going to permanently remove your hair. So it's a lot of times your hair is gonna keep growing back. Even if it's less hair, it's gonna grow back in some extent. The place I'm going to right now, they charge $50 for each Brazilian laser hair removal session. And so that is so cheap, y'all. Like I know people who like who said that they've gotten thousand dollars, like paid thousands of dollars worth for laser hair removal. I'm not trying to do that. So that's not bad at all. I mean, that means that if I do 10 sessions with the rate being $50 right now, that would be $500 for the whole thing. That's nothing. They also do run specials sometimes and they also have packages. Like they had, you can get an individual session, a three session package or a six session package. Still, they're still so affordable, like so affordable. After my first session, I had no hair grow back. Well, okay, I, had, I, I will say like it was about 15% of my hair in that area grew back. After that, it was no other hair in that area. After my second session, it probably was about 70% of my hair came back, but it came back finer and so much thinner. Like, it was crazy the difference. I was stunned because my hair has never grown back. It's always curled and it was not curled. It was just laying straight. I was thrown because I've never seen my hair grow out like that in that area. But yeah, so definitely guys, I would say if you're wanting to try laser hair removal and if you're experiencing some of the things that I mentioned before, definitely go for it. You know, make sure that you look at reviews for the place, you do your research on some spots that, and make sure, you know, they are certified and that they um, have good, do good work, you know, in quality work and they're safe. And um, yeah, I would definitely say go for it because, you know, I've tried all these different methods and this is where it led me, you know? So I hope it works out for me. I hope it works out for you guys. If you do try, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments box below. Um, I will leave the link, I will leave the name of the place that I'm going to in the description box below. I'll also leave the link for the PF, um, the plus Chroma Bright thingy. I don't even know what to call it. Um, but I'll leave that below as well, the link for that. And yes, definitely guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit informative. If you have any other questions about laser hair removal or just my experience or your experience with it, let me know and we can chat below. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.